Throughout my years of practice, I have heard many horror stories about my patients as well as other women who have been in the wrong place at the wrong time. I decided to gather information to help the women of our world, to allow them to understand the importance of safety and hopefully to prevent any tragic situation that can occur in the future. The three reasons why women are easy targets for random acts of violence are one, lack of awareness. You must know where you are at all times and know what's going on around you. Two, body language. Keep your head up, swing your arms, stand up straight. And three, the wrong place at the wrong time. Don't be walking alone in an alley or driving in a bad neighborhood at night. Women have a tendency to get into their cars after shopping, eating, or working and just sit in their car where they may be doing their checkbook or making a list. Don't do this. The predator will be watching you and this is the perfect opportunity for him to get into the passenger side, put a gun to your head, and tell you where to go. As soon as you get into your car, lock your doors and leave. These are a few notes about getting into your car in a parking lot or a parking garage. Be aware, look around you, look into your car, at the passenger side floor, in the back seat, check even under the car as well. If you are parked next to a big van, enter your car from the passenger door. Most serial killers attack their victims by pulling them into the vans while the women are attempting to get into their cars. Look at the parked car on the driver's side of your vehicle and the passenger side as well. If a male is sitting alone in a seat nearest your car, you may want to walk back into the mall or work or get a guard or a policeman to walk you back out. It is always better to be safe than to be sorry. Always take the elevator instead of the stairs. Stairwells are horrible places to be alone. Do not get into an elevator if you suspect a weirdo already on there. Of course, bad men don't always look bad. Do not stand back in the corners on the elevator. Be near the front, the doors, ready to get off or on. If you get on an elevator on the 25th floor and the boogeyman gets on the 22nd, get off when he gets on. If the predator has a gun and you are not under his control, always run. That's what I said, always run. Police only make four of 10 shots when they're in a range of three to nine feet. This is due to stress. Statistics show that the predator will only hit you, a running target that is, four in a hundred times. And even then, it most likely will not be a vital organ. So always run. These are some important tips you need to understand about yourself as a woman. The number one thing men look for in a potential victim is hairstyle. They are most likely to go after a woman with a ponytail, a bun, braid, or other hairstyle that can easily be grabbed. They are also likely to go after a woman with long hair. Women with short hair are not common targets. They also look for women on their cell phone, searching through their purse or doing other activities while walking because they are off guard and can be easily overpowered. The time of day men are most likely to attack and rape a woman is in the early morning between 5 and 8.30 a.m. The number one place women are abducted from or attacked is grocery store parking lots. Number two is office parking lots or garages. And number three is public restrooms. These men are looking to grab a woman and quickly move her to a second secluded location where they don't have to worry about getting caught. Only 2% of the rapists interviewed said they carried weapons because rape with a weapon has a greater sentence. Therefore, if you put up any kind of fight at all, they'll get discouraged because it only takes a minute or two for them to realize that going after you isn't worth it because it is too time consuming. These men said they will not pick on women who have umbrellas or other similar objects in their hands that can be used from a distance. Keys are not a deterrent because you have to get really close to the attacker to use them as a weapon. So the idea is to convince these guys you are going to resist and they may realize it is not worth it. If there's one thing I'd like to say to the women of the world is use your sixth sense. That's your gut instinct. That's your intuition or whatever you call it. It's a powerful subconscious insight into situations and people and all of us have it. It's a gift, but very few of us pay attention to it. Learn to trust this power and use it to your full advantage. And remember to avoid a person or a situation that does not feel safe. 
that does not feel right, that something inside of you tells you, stay away, and you'll always probably be right. So please pass this valuable information to a friend, a loved one, or maybe someone that you don't even know, because you never know what tomorrow may bring. You may be saving someone's life. Thank you for tuning in with me. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.